Hey, we're back with the screen team on today's talk 930 KWOC. It's all brought to you by Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us. Jake, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, Christmas is coming up oh, soon. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I smell, I smell what you're stepping in. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> some some shiny jewelry for Christmas might be might be nice yeah. for for candy this year i'm just uh i'm just throwing that out there what do you think i don't know you should show the camera your fingers there candy. <laughs> <laughs> jake has already I'll done very very good. let folks decide in the comment section whether she needs to <laughs> right <laughs> she needs some more there <laughs> we also want to give props to uh 33 productions uh they probably support ofra the boys and girls club you can and the bread shed and also popper block drywall interior and exterior finishing they also uh do commercial and residential give a call at 714-3127 Popper Bluff Drywall We Rock. The next film we have is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and um, I don't even know how to describe this, Jake. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, this was a this was a radio show first was, or was it a comic? It was like a, a radio serial first I okay. believe on, on BBC Radio. And then it was a comic or and a I, book? I think they, they. I think some graphic novels came out, or some comic books came out, or after that, and then there was a TV adaptation of the original radio program. Okay, uh, and, for for BBC TV. And then they made a movie in two thousand five about 2005, it. Two thousand five, several years later, because I think it was like eighty eighty five or something for the TV show. Okay, so uh, the basic concept is you have this normal, every average, everyday Joe. His name is Arthur Dent. He's on the planet Earth. And his friend, his Art. Name, what's his name? Is Art? I think is it, or is it Ford? Ford Perfect Ford is his Perfect. name. <laughs> he's uh, apparently he's an alien, and he uh, basically uh, rescues uh, uh, Arthur and says, "Hey, uh, the Earth is going to explode or whatever," and uh, saves him and takes him out in outer space, and they hitchhike on. Yeah, it's. It's hard to explain. It is. <laughs> it's a strange movie. It's a strange movie. This this movie. <laughs> So and all this before the credit roll. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's true. That's true. So when did you guys first see this as a couple, or had you guys seen it? It was before we were oh, were dating. A few yeah. weeks, at least a few weeks before we were dating, we were both uh, hanging out at at her sister's house, her sister and, and my brother and her brother in law's house, mm-hmm. and uh, we were just hanging out there. And they went to bed, and we just stayed up that night. And I'd brought the movie over. No one else wanted to watch it. And Candy's like, "Let's put the movie in." So we were all. <laughs> At this it was point, the perfect. We were slap happy. It was the perfect slap happy movie. It was the best movie. movie ever at the time. <laughs> and then I think on the DVD we spent a good forty five minutes. There's a random button on the on the DVD in the special features. Yeah. And uh, you hit. It's called the improbability drive. And you hit the button and it'll bring you up to a random hidden scene or a random little thing. And there's this, there's this one little crazy weird cartoon. It's all of about ten seconds long. And we hit that button over and over again because the only way you can access that cartoon is through that button. And we went through really? every, we cy- yeah. we cycled it like four <laughs> times this waiting for it. This is what sleep deprivation does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's kind of a fond memory of ours because that was right before we started dating. And right. And uh, it's it's just I don't know. I'd, I'd seen the movies in theater the movie in theaters before that, but mm-hmm. I think our experience with it made me love the movie even more. Yeah. Because it's just it's just out there. You know, it's British humor at its best. I think very dry at places but it's just and really random really really random i i think most def really stole it as far as the acting performance on this one yeah so candy the first time you saw this uh you were slap happy you thought it was hilarious every time since then what are are your thoughts on the movie do you still like it yeah i still like it it's not a movie that i would like to watch all the time but it's just (laughs) it's kind of one of those movies that i have to be in the mood for yeah like if you're just in the mood to watch something really goofy yeah. put that in but yeah i liked it i get lost every time i watch this movie i've seen it <laughs> twice i saw it uh the first time with sabrina back when when we were dating uh ironically and uh um she's like oh you gotta watch this is hilarious and i was like no this is not hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's it, i don't know man it's 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 hard to get into because they're explaining just some random crazy stuff and uh, <laughs> this is hard for me man like I love the cast. The cast is amazing. Um, has yeah. uh, Martin Freeman in it. He's uh, Arthur Dent. He uh, uh, he's in the new Hobbit movies. Mm-hmm. Also has Zoe Deschanel from what's what's her TV show? New Girl. New Girl. Uh, she's in it as well. And uh, what's the name of the guy who plays the the crazy president? 
Oh, I can't. I can't think of his. Oh, I can't man. think of his name. But he's pretty great in yeah, this movie. He's he's one of the best parts of that movie. <clears throat> he's the president president of the galaxy, <laughs> <laughs> and he's really really stupid. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. I can't remember his name, <laughs> but. I'll but, get it uh, here in just a second. He has some really, really great moments in this movie because there's a moment where this character's... Uh, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell, yes. And there's a moment where this character's half of his brain gets... Or part of his personality gets removed. Right, which right. is just... Uh, this movie goes in so many different places. And it's it's not just your typical sci-fi space movie. It's, it's more of a comedy first, I think. And yeah. um, it goes a lot of different places, but a lot of the places it goes, there's not really the plot doesn't matter so much. Mm-hmm. It's more you're just following the characters and they're just doing yeah. it's like, of course, this is what you do. I like I like movies like that to where, you know, there's a lot of the characters. You have your, your Arthur Dent character who is just new to this world and the rest of the characters are like, Oh what, you didn't know that? Right. You know? Right. My favorite's the the you know, monotone robot. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin robot. Marvin, Marvin, yes. I couldn't remember. Marvin his the name. depressed robot. Yes. <laughs> Who was voiced by Alan Rickman and uh, played by uh, Warwick Davis. Yep. From, played, uh, played by uh, Wicket. Yeah, by Wicket. The, exactly. Wicket the Ewok. Exactly. <laughs> so, this is hard. Who, who would you recommend this film to? Would you would you recommend it to people who like sci-fi movies, who like comedies, a little bit in between? What do you guys think? I think it would, could appeal to both. I, I do, oh. too. I, a lot of, I think a lot of sci-fi... I think sci-fi buffs probably get the most enjoyment out of it but mm-hmm. if you just like if you're a little bit into the the british humor and the drier side of humor i think i find it really enjoyable um this i don't know it's, it's hard there is a definite plot to this movie but it's everything that happens around the plot is what's interesting because the plot's pretty pretty simple they have a destination they're trying to get there but uh, it's everything that happens in between i think is the is the most fun the journey is the most fun and uh, you have the cutaways to where it's the narration of the actual hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy ex- right. explaining you know a certain alien race or something like that and they're, they're really goofy explanations uh, I, I really love the movie but recommend it um older kids 13 and older probably okay. 12 to 13 i think would would kind of get a kick out of it and so jake did you did you get a chance to experience the uh any of the tv or radio or I uh, I did rent a few years back. I did rent the TV series. I think it's only, I think it was only like a six or seven episode series that went through this whole story. And they they go into a lot more of the things the movie hits on in in more detail and a lot more of this stuff. But it's you know it's it's eighties made for TV sci fi, so it's perfectly cheesy. Yeah, and it really fits the 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 suit of the humor really well the way it's done. Uh, the, as far as finding like the old radio recordings and things like that, I haven't found those or the comic books. But I did rent the TV series because they they did have that available at uh, at Hastings. It's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You can find it on <laughs> a DVD. Coming up after the break, we're going to do uh, some Purple Rain. Yes, you guys ready for that? <laughs> oh man, it's all coming up next on today's talk nine thirty KWOC.